Hi there. My name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss the relationship between the base and height of a parallelogram. So here we have a parallelogram. Let's say that we know that the area is some value a. We'll say that the base has some length b. What we want to know is what relationship, if any, does there exist between area, the base, and the height, h. It may surprise you to learn that a is simply equal to base times height. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, isn't this the formula for the area of a rectangle or a square? And yes, that's true. But here's why it also works for a parallelogram. Let's shade in the area to the left of this height. We see that we get a right triangle, which also implies that this is a right angle and this is a right angle. Now, Imagine that we're chopping off that triangle. We're sliding it over and sliding it in right there. That's a right angle. And it's not too difficult to prove using simple geometric proofs. These two angles together will also form a rectangle. And voila. Now if we erase this chunk right here, since we moved it to the other side, we get a rectangle. And this component of the base is now over here, so the length of the base hasn't changed. And once again, it's just base times height for the area. And that's all there is to it. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we just discussed the relationship between the base and height of a parallelogram.